Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to do a technical deep dive on the differences between cutting hair with a razor versus cutting hair with a scissor. So let's get started. So the obvious differences between the two starting out are that the scissor is going to be a much more blunt cut, more solid cut, and the razor is going to be a lighter, more airy, softer type of cut. Even if I'm trying to point cut with the scissor, it's still going to be inherently sharper, stronger, and more blunt than if I'm using a razor, which is going to be always softer and more airy and lighter. I'm going to demonstrate the differences doing a graduated bob because it's not only just a difference in the in the end result, but it's also a difference in the application. And some applications are better for a razor, some are better for a scissor. But we're going to start doing a graduated bob because it shows the texture, it shows the difference, it shows the cut much more so than I think any other haircut that there is. And it's the hardest one to do, so let's challenge ourselves, all right? So we're going to comb this out comb our angle in, and then go through. Cut that down and through. So now that's gonna be our first line. Now cutting hair with a scissor, I have to be much more conscientious of where my guide is and that I'm exactly on top of my cutting guide. I can't cut it longer. I can't cut it shorter. I have to be directly on top of the line. And I'm not worried about this. I'm just looking at that graduation line right now. Hold that out. There's my line. Cut that through. Now let's go through, clean up our underneath cross check that through. Now I'm going to go through point cut this bottom to compensate for any kind of little calyx that I have so it's not quite using as much tension as if I was combing it down and cutting it completely 100% blunt. Now I'm using my Jatai Tokyo scissors and the five and a half and this is a nice sharp scissor. It's very ergonomic and it's the shortest scissor that I have. So when I'm dealing with something that's gonna be very, very cramped, like me trying to deal in with this nape, a shorter, smaller scissor that's ergonomic, like the little handles are more curvy to your hands and mold to your hands, it's a lot more comfortable to go through and cut that. So we've got the left side cut already with the scissor. Now. This is going to be a much more blunt shape and it's going to be a solid shape. So I have to be really, really on top of my guide as I cut and angle it so that I can start to build up that type of graduation that I'm looking for. And also you'll notice that when I'm cutting it, I'm cutting from the top down, right? I'm not cutting from the bottom up. That's already one advantage of cutting with the razor is when I cut on the right side, I can cut from the top down on the right side as I did with the left side. Whereas when I'm doing graduation with the scissor, I have to cut up on the right side because I can't like change my hands around and cut top down on the right side. So that's already one advantage when I'm applying the cut with the razor. Now, when I hold this out, I'm finding the angle that I had and now I'll bring my hand over, and as I apply the cut, I'll take small, even strokes all the way through until I cut that. So you can already see it's gonna be a softer line. Start here on the bottom, reach across, there's my guide. Follow that as I cut that all the way across and through. Now I'm using the feather styling razor with a type R blade. So this is going to expose more blade than if I use the standard. So it's going to give me a little bit more flexibility when I'm going through and trying to cut. I don't get as much protection, but it certainly gives me more exposed cutting blade and makes it cut smoother. Please follow us on social at Jatai Feather. Now this is one disadvantage of cutting with the razor is that 
I cut myself easier. That's one disadvantage of cutting with the razor. But also the other disadvantage is going back and cleaning up. I can't clean it up as precisely as if I can with a scissor because a scissor gives me a lot more control and I can cut smaller sections of hair to make this left side more perfect than the right side. But the right side is gonna have a certain amount of softness to it, and that's okay, that's inherent when I'm doing a razor. So I'm not gonna worry about it being so perfect. So now we've got our, our base section done, and on the base section, you're not gonna see as much of a difference between the two because the hair's short. The longer the hair is, the more the hair flows, the more difference you're gonna see. Take a little longer stroke and cut my center piece to the same guide that I had underneath. Keep a broader stroke. Now here you start to really notice the internal movement that we're getting from the razor application. Even if I was to take this and do a very, very blunt stroke with the razor, it's still gonna be a lot softer cut than what I'm gonna be doing on the left side. So let's go to the scissor side. We're gonna start right in the middle again. I'm gonna pivot that to the mastoid. Hold that out. There's my line. staying on top of my previously cut guide. I don't want to go shorter. I don't want to go longer. I want to maintain as best I can that previously cut guide. Now I'm trying to keep both sides, the technique exactly the same on both sides of what I'm cutting. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, the notification bell to be notified of any future posts that we make, and also give us a thumbs up. As far as application of the technique, the end result will be different because of the tools that I'm doing that's different, but not because of the technique. Not bad, not bad. It feels so different or it appears so different on each side because one side is so much softer than the other side. So visually it throws me off, but then when I go to check it, I'm like, ah, okay, they're pretty even. So let's continue on, we'll finish our last section and then we'll, we'll take a look and see the uh, end result. Here is our finished result of doing a graduated bob, one side with a razor, one side with a scissor. So the razor side, you can certainly tell that it's beveled the shape more, it's softer, it uh, has a little bit more movement to it because the ends are a little bit more airy. Now, I did a very, very small stroke because I didn't want the exaggeration of taking a broad stroke showing the difference between the two techniques. Now, if we look at the scissor side, it is certainly much more solid, much more blunt, doesn't have as much swing to it as the other side did, but really the end results are not really that far off. I think the biggest thing is the beveling 
of the line more so than the shape. Some people will say, oh, a razor just completely shreds the hair. It certainly can. But when you control the approach and you control the technique and you apply it judiciously, you can end up with something that's very classy, very controlled, and all it does is bevel the shape and add a little bit of movement to it and not completely destroy it. So here's our end result. Blunt on one side, light on the other side. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there, a whole hair cutting system, a whole razor cutting system, and also business stuff. And you can even post your own work on there to share with the whole community. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.